Hi everyone, welcome back to the Zira Basics tutorial. In today's episode, we'll talk about the essential things we need to do in order for release management in Jira. But before we get into release management, let's first understand what a semantic version is. Versioning is used for planning and tracking of the product releases. It helps to organize the work that has been completed so far in a project. Also, it provides us with a timeline on when and what features were released during the project life. In LeafFrog, we use the same semantic version for both Zira and GitHub releases. Now, in Zira, there are two types of versions. First, a fixed version, and second, a fixed version. A fixed version is used to identify where you plan to fix the features or where it has been fixed, whereas the affix version is used to indicate the version where an issue was found. In LeafFrog, we are more accustomed to using only fixed version to tag our UAT or production releases. Now let's look at how we can create a version and maintain release versions in Jira. There are two ways we can create a version for our project. You can create a version using the product backlog view by clicking on the versions options. Or you can go to the releases section and create a version from here. For now, let's go back to the backlog and create a new version. Let's add a version name following the semantic versioning guideline, which basically means major, minor, patch, etc. If there is a major overhaul in the system, for instance, we added a new module, then we can only tag the major version. On the contrary, for feature enhancements, improvements, we usually tag the minor version. For other tasks such as hotfixes, bug fixes, we tag the patch release. For our example, I'm writing a 1.0.0 underscore UAT version. I have added an extension underscore UAT because this is a UAT release only. Had it been a production release, I would only use 1.0.0 without the extension. Now let's add the description and the start and end date of our planned release. The next step for us is to link the tags to the version we just created. In order to do that, simply drag and drop the tickets you would like the version to be added to. You can hold the shift button and select and drag multiple tickets at once as well. Now you can see that the version for our selected tickets is seen as 1.0.0 underscore UAT. You can also add a fixed version while creating or editing the ticket. Okay, um, let's go to the release section to see the status of our release. You can see that it is set as unreleased now. The progress bar also shows the tickets that are in different statuses in Jira board. All tickets should be in the done status before we release a version. After all the tickets are completed and ready for UAT deployment, we can click on the release button to release a version. You can add or modify a release date before releasing it. After it is released, we can see our version as released in the list. You can also use this filter to see the released, unreleased and archived versions. All right, let's click on our newly released version and see more details. You can see how many tickets were included in this release. Also, you can view the release note for this particular release. This is how it looks. Okay, I hope that adding release versions in Zira was interesting to you. And hopefully you will follow this practice to manage your project releases in Zira. Please don't forget to ask questions or give feedback in the comment section below. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.